Hi guys, hi, it's Pandora here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be talking about how I am a proud gold digger. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, right? Why would I be talking about such things? But really, it was, it's just a topic to draw you in. And usually when I talk about this topic, people think that I, that, that, that I, people just go straight, oh, she's a gold digger. But literally, this topic is about what type of man I like and what type of man I feel like women should go for so so that people can step up their game. So I will first talk about the kind of person I am. I am in triple A. I study advertising right now. Um, what's it called? I'm about to get my degree. I'm in my last year. And um, I work really hard. I take many old jobs from hostessing to promotions to modeling to acting to really anything that I can get my hands on. Um, I like things. I love makeup. And makeup is expensive. Um, what's it called? I like nice dinners. I like to go to fancy restaurants. I like to experience life to the full. I like culture. Basically, I, I would like to go to the theater, you know. And those things take up money and time. And really, the type of man I like is a God-fearing, smart, considerate. That is key considerate, loving, man that's full of love, and a successful man. I want an ambitious man, a man that is almost like a male version of me, because I want someone that I can do things with and will not be like, oh, there's no money to do this, or okay, instead of you using your money to do this for you, I have to use my money to help you get to where you want to. And there's completely nothing wrong with helping a man up his feet, nothing. But what I'm saying is that if I'm in a relationship, a relationship is a lot of work, right? And it's a lot of stress, yeah. So um, it's a lot of admin. And having broke people, two broke people in a relationship, just, it doesn't work. Like, you get frustrated, you want to do things, but you don't want to tell him. Now you're going behind his back doing things. Now it looks like you're cheating and different, different things, really. Um, like I, I, I am a, I'm a certain type of person, and I feel like I should get a man that is, um, a man that is on my same level, if that makes any sense. A man that will compliment me instead of drag me down. I want a man to pull me up, you know, because a man is a leader, and to me he's a provider. Do you understand? And there's nothing to me worse than dating someone that is lazy. That doesn't want to pick up his life. That doesn't want to say anything. If I if I'm interested in a guy and I see that he's doing everything that he possibly can to make himself better, to make his future brighter, of course I'm drawn to that kind of man. I'm drawn to ambitious men that take their life very seriously. Honestly, I can't open my eyes and walk straight into hunger. My daddy doesn't make me hungry, so why would I go after a man or go or date a man that is hungry? Like, literally, what I'm basically trying to say is that it is okay to want the best for yourself. Only accept what you think you deserve and don't take nonsense because you don't want to look like, a, don't want to look like a certain way. So, I'm, I'm, like, there's certain people that will look at me and be like, oh, she only dates or she only goes out with, on dates with a certain type of men. Yes, because I'm a certain type of woman and understanding the kind of woman I am, I can only date a certain kind of man. Do you understand? Yes. Like it's not it's not wrong for you to want the best for yourself because men are going to say, Oh, why can't you do this? Why can't you do this? Like let me tell you, me, I'm the kind of person that when I go out on a date, I do not break the bill. I do not share like we don't share the, that it doesn't it doesn't ring in my head. Turn off number one. You can't expect me to pay my bill. I'm I'm sorry. You can say trust me, I will pretend to offer, but if you let me pay my bill, don't bother calling me. I'm not joking. Don't bother. Because in my head, my dad and my grandfather have always been the provider. They've always been the man of the house. I like a real man, a full man. And a man that knows his role. Do you understand? And I'm not saying that, oh, in really, I'm not talking about in a relationship. I'm talking about in the start of relationship, what I look for in a man. I look for a strong man. And strong men don't act weak by letting a woman take up their role. I'm just saying. And that is what I want. That is what I think I deserve. I think I deserve a good man. You're already in a relationship, right? And the guy, the guy was all of these things in the beginning, but he has hit a rough patch, right? And you still want to go out, so you pick up the bills when you guys go out. 
Let me tell you something about that. There is nothing wrong with doing that. I will do that in a split second. Do you know why? Because I know this man has the potential to be everything that I want him to be. My dad has been through it where I've seen my mom pay for my school fees, you know, take up the house. But it didn't take, because the man is a certain type of a way and he understands who he is as a man. Hope you understand what I was trying to say. And yeah, so I just want girls out there to know that they shouldn't be afraid to get a man that compliments them because if you can afford your lifestyle if you can buy all these things for yourself if you can do it why should you downgrade yourself next you want a man that can can match you or even upgrade you. so you are up here and you match it take a guy that is down here it's easy for him to pull you down because then you have less to do and you have to spend more time with him and then you have less time to work or achieve your goals but if you have a man that is here you will need to you know you will need, it's a step up for you. you you feel like you need to step up your game so at the end of the day what i'm trying to say is that don't be afraid to ask for what you want don't be don't be misled by other men saying oh you're a certain type of you're too posh you're too this you're you're a gold digger you're not a gold digger for liking what you like you're just a girl that is ambitious that has something to offer so you should definitely date a man that has something to offer it all comes down to your love language some people feel spoiled and some people feel loved when people compliment compliment them and say thank you and like just show appreciation like men usually feel loved with that kind of love language like when you say oh you're such a nice you're, so, you're my man you know you're sexy i love you you know men their head their head gets big and they sweat and it swells up i'm losing english here can you see anyway <laughs> anyway you know their head swells and they feel like yes I t you know so my love language is when a man spoils me when he takes me out when he compliments me you know Cause, and that's how I do, I like to buy gifts because that's how I show love and that's how I expect love to be shown to me that most women feel like oh, when they are like that there's something wrong with them you shouldn't feel like there's something wrong with you just because you like getting gifts okay it's okay let me break it down into my Nigerian language and let me get comfortable okay I'm not saying you should go look for one marker okay you can look for one mugu to, to be to spoiling you this one old allergy one old no i'm not saying that i'm saying that the man that you want to date that you find you can see as your future husband you know as in can get and bring it this one home to mommy eh that kind of man yeah he has to be like let me tell you something about my family okay if i bring a man home the first question my dad is going to ask you is are you a christian mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you love god mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much is in your bank account? <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not swelling, if it's not growing, <laughs> oh Lord, yeah, yeah, oh no. Because my daddy's gonna dig a hole, and you're going to tell him what is the currency you want to use, and you're gonna fill up that hole. If you can't fill up that hole, you can't marry me. <laughs> anyway, so. It up, like what I was trying to say is that it boils down to love language and women lately are being afraid of being called names and things like that Every, see let me tell you something when you're in a relationship all the other people calling you names are not going to be in that relationship with you they're not going to suffer the hard times they're not going to be there when you're enjoying the good times so don't be afraid to look for and ask for what you want be demanding be upfront do you understand be upfront like go for a man that can compliment you can can like, I always go for men that that can take me to the next level, that pulls me up. Like, I see what you're doing with your life, and I feel like I want to get better. I do that with my friends. I do that. Like, I drop, I literally, I, it's not, it's, I drop people that are not, are not ambitious and, like, strong with their life. Because me, I have a very, I have a tendency to be lazy. And if I allow all those kind of people in my life, I won't get anywhere. So it's this is both it, it goes down to all in all types of relationships. What you want in your life is what you're going to what you want in your life is what you should look for in other people. You see other people are a certain way, you go for those things. You don't sit back and be like, oh, I have to be loving and accepting of everybody. You can't accept nonsense in your life because at the end of the day, oh my girl, you are going to be nonsense and you're going to be full of it. So no, okay? No simple you see nonsense and you say back off back off you 
this is good tonight. He said, come on, come on. <laughs> so basically, yeah. So I hope you get the gist of this whole conversation. And I hope you understand my point. I'm just trying to say that don't let other people's words and assumptions of you get in the way of what you want for your life. If you like good things, go after good things. Everybody likes good things. If they don't like good things, they're lying. Yeah, you're lying. Who don't like good food? Who don't like better house? Who don't like good car? Don't you want to live a comfortable life? And I'm not going to be the one getting all the money and then I have a man that's just sleeping at home. Like, no. Do you understand? You'll be able to spoil me and tell me that you love me in the way that I understand. Do you understand? And I'll be depressed. And I'll probably shoot you. But anyway, yeah. I'm not going to shoot you. I may shoot you, you know? You don't know these things. It just kind of happens. And then you say, I was frustrated. <laughs> anyway, Sha. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So, this is me, Vandora, telling you. I don't know what, what I was telling you. What's it I'm a gold digger. I'm a gold digger. I like to make it rain, baby. I dig for gold. And once I find it, I keep it on a, you know? But I dig for gold. I dig for gold in my work ethic, in my, in my, in my, in my abilities. I dig, I look deep down and I dig, dig, dig for the best of me. Because the best of me is gold. Do you understand? Platinum, when you've reached that, like you dig, 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 and you have to find the best of you, and that's the gold. So I'm a gold digger, and I dig for gold in people, in human beings. So I want to see the gold of you. So basically, if you want to call me a gold digger, go ahead. The comments is there. Leave it.